Hey all, Russ here, RV TV. Welcome. Check it out. This is Highway 89. We're between Kanab, Utah, and uh, Big Water. I had to stop, take a break. Look at this scenery. This is like their painted desert. All the formations, the different layers of clays, and all this. This is a little uh, BLM pull off area. But it is just so beautiful. What a nice drive, this Highway 89. Going straight across. We're skirting right along the Arizona-Utah border. Hey, I see water. Yay. But as far as you can see, look at that. Part of the painted desert. Kind of reminds you down around Holbrook. The petrified forest, all that area. There's a good shot of 89. We're skirting along those cliffs. Not too much farther, we'll be up in Lake Powell. Anyway, cool little stop. See right down there, they got restrooms, places of day use. All right, keep on trucking. Well, up here in Big Water, they had uh, another BLM visitor center, which last time I was up here was during the pandemic two years ago, and everything was closed, absolutely everything. So hopefully it's open. We're going to stop there. We're heading to Lake Powell. See what's going on there. And then from Lake Powell, we're going to head back down to Flagstaff, back into Kingman and back to the desert. There is just cool things to look at the whole way. All kinds of cool rock formations. There's a community of Big Water, Utah. We're very close to the Arizona border too. Like I said earlier, I stopped here a couple years ago. And it was all shut down. You could walk around the outside of it, they had displays. But not on the inside. So what do you say, let's give it a try. Right here. It's off to the right. Quite a few vehicles. Cool. Last time I was the only one here. <laughs> this is part of the beginning of all the Grand Canyon stuff, too. All right, let's check it out. Cool storyboards, Grand Staircase, Escalante, National Monument. Planning your trip. Oh no, look at that. <laughs> Not good. Be careful where you drive. Just scenery everywhere you look here. Yeah, part of that National Monument, all of this, it's all connected. Look at the dinosaur stuff. This is what I seen last time was on the outside here. But guess what? It's open. We can go in. Yay. They got these metal sculptures and stuff out here. But, what do you say? Let's go inside. Check her out.
Oh, cool. They got fossils. Boy, would that make a big pot of soup. <laughs> Look at the size of that bone. Just different times, huh? Millions of years ago. Goodness. They got some really nice uh, fossils. Whole wall of them. Oh, you got to stop here. Once again, this is Big Water, Utah, the visitor center. I'd like to have that uh, hanging in your living room. <laughs> Fun. All right. Onward we go. Perfect little stop. Good to see it all, everything back open again. Okay, we shouldn't have too much farther. We'll be down at Lake Powell. Be uh, interesting to see what it looks like compared to last year when I was here. Should be a little bit of water over there, and there's not. Okay. I think state line should be right up here, according to the phone. There's roads that lead off back in there. I don't know if it's day use or you can camp or what. Those power lines laying right on the rock. Cool looking though, isn't it? We are entering the Glen Canyon. National Recreation Area right here. And off to the left we should be seeing water. And there is none. Uh oh man. And welcome back to Arizona. I love this drive. You keep zigzagging between states. <laughs> that is fun. Fun trip. Well, we'll go check out the marina first. I'm going to spend the night here. I'm going to stay out here. Get a campsite. A left up here. This should take us down to Marina and the bay. Tomorrow we'll go see the dam. All the way down to Page. We're about four or five miles out of town. Page, Arizona. Okay. Still don't see any water yet. get to use my senior card again to get access here. Wow, there is nothing here. Looks like a little puddle down there, doesn't it? Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> oh, man.
Okay, well, I think I've been out here a couple times. Make a left up here, I believe. Yep, they should drop us right down. Yeah, straight ahead, there's a big marina. Resort. There's the campground I'll stay at. It's hot here today, so I want hookups. I want to run air conditioner. So I'll be staying over there somewhere. That people got boats. Be interesting to see the how far down the launches are. All right, well, I'm not gonna get to campsite yet. Let's go check out the marina. See if we can't find some water. Goodness, there is nothing left. Look at that. They say it's down less than 30 percent. There's the launch over there. Look how far we're. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh, I see a bunch of cars. I bet we can drive down there. Ha. Huh. Well, what's left of it? Looks like they're launching boats way down there. We'll we'll drive down. Isn't that something? There you go. There's your answer. There's like Wow. Well, this is actually a harbor marina. We'll see uh, the actual dam tomorrow. We say let's drive down. Other cars are. Parking lot is empty. Checking boats for algae and stuff. I see some houseboats floating out there, though. That's good. What a different perspective you'd have on a boat. With the water being this low, it'd be like boating through canyons, huh? Well, you can see this launch, it's closed. And they extended it here. All gravel and everything. They spent some big bucks doing this. The grading, the gravel. We should be underwater here. <laughs> Isn't this something? All right, well, let's get parked. Van's doing good.
Wonder what they're finding here, huh? Okay, I'm in this parking area and it is still a long ways down there. We're way below the water line here. Look at all the houseboats though, that's cool. Wonder what they charge to go out in one of those. Wish I knew someone had a boat. I'd like to go out there. At least for a couple hours. They're launching. That is a long ways down there yet. Big old houseboats. Them things are like floating apartments. It's where you need a lot of people. Look how far. From the parking lot here. Well, they spent us some big bucks putting all this in. They don't expect the water to come up here probably for a long time. Which is sad. I, I hate to see this because this affects uh, good old Lake Mead. Look at all them houseboats. Those are cool looking. Well, no matter what, it's still a pretty place. This is a national recreation area. There's still water left. Being an Arizona resident like I am, I hate to see it because it affects us all down here. Hopefully they can figure out something. I know they talk pipelines and all kinds of stuff, but it's going to take a lot of years to develop something to fix this problem but you gotta make the best of what you can huh yeah they're checking boats for algae and stuff cool at least they're still operating hey you can still go out in the water fish enjoy it kayak canoe boat in one of them big house boats <laughs> There's my ride right there. I just missed it. Boats are expensive. So is RVing anymore. Ooh, you know what? I see you to the right here. Let's go check out something real quick. Looks like a storage lot for some of the big house boats. Let's go see what one looks like uh, out of the water. Oh yeah, look at the size of this thing. That's a floating apartment. It's got to be 20 feet wide. Two stories. Cool. Looks like Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Baby Bear. Evolution. They got twin engine. Cool. Just had to check that real quick. All right. Go find a campground.
Yeah, I'm gonna get a site with hookups tonight. That way I can run my air conditioner. Because it's hot here. This plane hot. <laughs> Welcome to Arizona, where it's hot. Well, what are we? Mid-May now. There's their check-in office. Huge campground. There's a lot of sites here. I don't have a reservation, but I don't think I need one. There's a lot of empty ones. All right, be back. Big building there, big store, gift shop. They got showers and restrooms, so they charge for everything here. All right, I'm in the F section. All right, this is home for the night. Get parked, get hooked up, turn on that air conditioner. Get cooled off, make plans in the morning. We'll run down, we'll check out uh, Glen Canyon Dam and see what it looks like down there before we head back down to Flagstaff and Kingman. Journey continues. Talk soon.